Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you three makeup looks inspired by Lady Gaga or the Countess from American Horror Story. I'm going to begin by using a face primer. This is Smashbox Original Face Primer and I'm applying this on all over. I'm then using a concealer that's much lighter than my skin tone and this is NARS Radiant Concealer. Shade Light 1. I'm going to focus this on the highlight areas and any problem areas such as under eye and redness. After doing little dots on the areas that I'm going to use a concealer, I'm going to blend this out. And this is the Real Techniques setting brush. To bake this, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm using a MAC Powder Puff to apply this. And I'm just packing that right on there. After a few minutes of baking my face, I'm going to blend this out using that same setting brush and just wipe away the excess cocaine. I mean, translucent powder. <laughs> then to bring in a little bit of warmth to match my neck and chest, which are a lot more of a yellow tone, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Pressed Powder in shade NC30. Now I'm going to remove or conceal my brows, go back to my natural days, those of you that remember me blonde, and my natural translucent brows, this is what they used to look like. <laughs> I'm using a washable Elmer's glue stick, and this is going to help conceal my brow, so it's going to help push down and keep down my brow hair. Then I'm using CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick in Light 567, and I'm going to draw this right over top the glue. This gives more of a concealed, hidden look to the brows, and it'll also help blend them in. Then to create the super blonde, albino, white looking hair or brows, I'm going to use the same concealer that I used on my face, which was the NARS concealer, in the light one again, and I'm going to follow the same shape of my brows, creating a very washed out, light looking brow. I did let my brow hair peek through just a little bit to create texture, and to give the appearance of light eyebrow hair, rather than removing them completely. To contour, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in shade Fawn, and I carved out those cheekbones using the Makeup Addiction Chiseler Brush. In this first look, it's very natural. It's almost a no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna use the Smashbox Full Exposure Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to start by using M6 and M5, which are both matte, warm brown eyeshadows. I'm using a light hand and blending a lot just to bring in a wash of color to create more depth and definition. I'm applying these with the Morphe Bullet Crease Brush. So I'm going to focus this on the lower lash line and the crease or brow bone corner to corner. Then to create the appearance of more lashes or fuller lashes without looking like mascara or too much makeup, I'm going to just tip the lashes. I'm keeping the lip color very natural so I'm using MAC Freckle Tone, which is a light peach color. And then using MAC NC15, which is a super light pressed powder. I'm going to kind of blot this on top to fade out the lip color. To top off or finish look one, I'm going to add a wig. If only this season came out last year when I was naturally blonde. <laughs> On to look two. Look two has a bit of a darker, more dramatic eye. So to darken the eye even more, I'm going to use that same palette and take a mix of M1 and M2, which is a matte black and matte gray, and create a wing. To do this, I'm using a piece of cardboard or paper to create a barrier or border, and then lightly blend back and forth to create that cat eye or wing effect. When you remove your piece of paper or border, you should have a fierce, strong line. Then using the bullet crease brush again, I'm gonna smoke out that crease using a mix of M5 and M2. So right in the crease, corner to corner, kind of sinking in that crease even more. To create the beauty mark, I use Pure Minerals Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner. This is a dark brown. I also added a bit more drama by adding a little bit more mascara. And then on my lips, I have Anastasia Heather's Liquid Lipstick all over. 
And then in the center to create more of an ombre, I'm going to use American Doll. It's up to you if you want to make the glove like I did in this video, which you can see how I did that listed in the description box. Or you can use pointy nails, which she also wears. I picked these up from H&M. They're just like $5 stick on nails. Mmm, tomato juice. Now for look three, which is her very glamorous runway look. I'm going to first add my costume pieces, which you can see here. I have a jeweled headpiece and feathers. The headpiece is from Charlotte Russe and the feathers I picked up at the craft store. And I just stuck them in the wig. All the outfit and jewelry information will also be listed in the description box. Then for the eye, I used Urban Decay Original Eye Primer and I created a teardrop effect. So bringing it underneath my eye, corner to corner, and then sort of bringing it down my cheek. Then I'm going to apply silver glitter and stick it to the eye primer. And that's everything for this three looks in one tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, make sure you comment below or read the description box. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe. And I'll also have the link on how I made the glove listed in the description box for you to check out as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.